Hello, I'm Craig Fernett, a Senior Vice President in Brookfield's Renewable Power and Transition Group. I'm responsible for investment sourcing, execution, and asset management for energy transition investments with a focus on the carbon capture and sequestration sector, also known as CCS. I'm pleased to talk to you today about Entropy. Entropy is a leading CCS developer based in Western Canada. We believe that Entropy provides a differentiated offering as a full service industrial platform that delivers comprehensive decarbonization solutions. Entropy has proprietary, proven modular technology and cost-effective designs with large-scale application potential across various emission sources. Building on this strong background, Entropy engineered, constructed, and has now begun operating the world's first commercial-scale post-combustion CCS project from natural gas emissions. In addition, Entropy recently took final investment decision on the world's largest natural gas post-combustion CCS project with power supplied by the world's first commercial scale turbine with integrated CCS. Entropy's track record of success in the CCS sector gives Brookfield unparalleled insights into the capital costs and operations of these types of projects in the field and their potential for additional large scale deployment in various emitting sectors. And importantly, how all of this can be done at the lowest possible cost for emitters. Entropy also benefits from its strategic location in where there's the confluence of a highly developed industrial carbon market, government tax credits and incentives, as well as a large scale industrial emitter base that sees CCS as an ideal method to achieve its decarbonization objectives. Entropy currently has a large pipeline of CCS projects in various stages of development. This pipeline represents over a million tons per year of carbon capture capacity. The company's deployment of CCS is focused primarily on Canada and the United States with further potential for significant global expansion. In April 2022, Brookfield invested $300 million into Entropy in the form of a deferred draw convertible debenture providing strong downside protection while allowing Brookfield optionality to convert into an ownership stake in a high growth CCS developer. Brookfield was able to obtain exclusivity to pursue this investment based on our strong access to capital, our ability to scale the business, our deep knowledge of the energy sector, and our capabilities in leveraging our broader platform to provide additional growth opportunities for the company. Our investment was made at an attractive entry point in Entropy's development, and will be used to accelerate the deployment of the company's proprietary CCS technology. By focusing on post-combustion CCS, Entropy's designs can be easily retrofitted to existing carbon-intensive operations, effectively providing for a plug-and-play solution for reducing emissions from hard-to-abate industries. And with that, let's take a closer look at the market opportunity and do a deeper dive on carbon capture and sequestration technology. The projected market for decarbonization solutions is massive. The CCS sector, which is a key solution for tackling the carbon footprint of existing assets and reducing the emissions of hard to abate sectors, currently sequesters about 40 million tons of CO2 annually. However, the International Energy Association estimates that the size of the CCS sector will increase to approximately one gigaton per year by the 2030s. These projected capacities imply that CCS could eventually abate approximately 10 to 15% of total global energy-related CO2 emissions by 2050. There's substantial and growing demand for technologies and services that offer alternative, lower carbon solutions and can be implemented immediately into current or proven production methods to achieve decarbonization results. For example, Industrial companies, which represent approximately 15% of total greenhouse gas emissions, are increasingly seeking large-scale capital investment in new production assets and a range of decarbonization solutions. The projects that we're developing with Entropy are based on proven technologies that are deployable at a large scale and benefit from exposure to highly financeable cash flows linked to long-term offtake agreements and supportive policy tailwinds. So what is carbon capture and sequestration and how does it work? 
The CCS process typically involves three primary steps. One, capturing CO2 at the source. Two, compressing and transporting it. And three, injecting it deep into a geological formation where it's safely and permanently stored. In addition to sequestering the emissions, an alternative process that can be implemented in some cases involves converting the CO2 to an end product in a process referred to as CCU for carbon capture and utilization. Carbon sequestration is a well-established and safe technology that's been used by the energy industry for over six decades. Turning back to our investment in entropy, Brookfield's Capital supported the completion of the world's first commercial scale, natural gas derived, post-combustion CCS project located at the Glacier Natural Gas Processing Plant in Alberta, Canada. This sequestration well for Glacier Phase 1 is now fully operational and sequestering all CO2 volumes from the existing carbon capture operations at Glacier. It's expected to mitigate up to 54,000 tons of CO2 per year. To put this into context, it's comparable to the emissions from approximately 200 round-trip airline flights between New York and Los Angeles. Earlier this year, Entropy reached final investment decision for the Glacier Phase 2 project, which is expected to capture around 160,000 tons per year of CO2, roughly equivalent to the emissions of 35,000 passenger vehicles. This would make it the largest post-combustion natural gas CCS project in the world, and it's expected to reach commercial operations by Q2 2026. The Glacier Phase 2 project also includes the world's first commercial scale natural gas turbine with integrated CCS. This turbine is expected to produce 15 megawatts of decarbonized baseload power, supplying electricity to both the Glacier CCS plant as well as the underlying Glacier natural gas processing plant itself. On a commercial scale, Glacier Phase 2 is targeting a CO2 capture rate of more than 90% which will result in limited external heat wasting. We also worked extensively with the Entropy team to optimize the commercial structure of the Glacier 2 project, but this requires a bit of background. In late 2023, the Canada Growth Fund, or CGF, a Canadian public investment vehicle that aims to attract private capital to build Canada's clean economy, invested $200 million in Entropy with the transaction negotiated and structured by Brookfield and Entropy. CGF also became a customer for the carbon credits generated by Entropy's carbon capture projects by entering into a landmark carbon credit offtake framework agreement. This deal is a global first in the carbon markets and establishes a strong precedent for the CCS industry. It also helps to de-risk and accelerate our investment by establishing carbon price certainty for the projects. The partnership with CGF represents a strategic value enhancement opportunity for Entropy and provides meaningful upside to our initial underwriting, while also allowing the company to increase the deployment of its CCS technology and support Canada's transition to net zero. We appreciate you taking the time to learn about Entropy and CCS technology. Our strategic investment in Entropy, enhanced with further investment from CGF, as well as the added support from government investment tax credits, project financing, and other CCS incentives, provides Entropy with the potential to successfully execute on over a billion dollars of CCS projects and abate more than a million tons per year of CO2. Entropy is yet another example of our ability to identify compelling investments that can generate attractive long-term returns while also contributing in a meaningful way to driving decarbonization efforts. Thank you.